This is stuff that I love. I love horror, I love anything scary. And when we talk about horror, we're talking about classic Universal Monsters. Take me through this incredible booth. Absolutely, so much like yourself, I'm a monster kid. I grew up with these guys. I'd watch the uh, reruns on uh, Saturday and Sunday TV, the matinees. Uh, there's nothing better than the classics. Karloff, Lugosi, yes. Chaney. Um, we are honored to be working on these. Uh, this past year, we actually did a 90th anniversary of Frankenstein and Dracula. Beautiful. 90 years. But what we're trying to do is uh, bring these to the masses and to the new generation who either grew up with Chucky or Freddy or Jason. It's like none of that would exist without right. these guys. And these guys really were, you know, when we talk about horror and we talk about monsters, and I, I think about universal monsters, these guys really were the blueprint for everything else. They were essentially the blueprint that came out first and everyone else kind of built upon them. And I think that's what's wonderful about these iconic brands is that they still hold true. They still hold up after so many, so many years. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're talking about, you know, 90 years now. It's it's amazing. And it is the blueprint. I mean, a few years back, we had Freddy vs. Jason. You yep. wouldn't have that if there wasn't Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Exactly. And all the other ones that we grew up with. So yeah, for us, uh, we've worked closely with the estates as well as Universal Studios, so we can do the likenesses of Boris Karloff, of Bella Lugosi, right. uh, of Long Chaney Sr. and Jr. Um, and in addition to the figures, we're doing accessory sets and diorama pieces. I love so it. You can really have that sort of, you know, the old Aurora model kit feel yep. where you can bring the whole environment to life. You yep. have the sarcophagus, you have the lab table, yep. Dracula's coffin and his creatures of the night. And I love the different heads as well and I love that you offer them in black and white versions. Movie accurate, I like to yep. say, just like the movie accurate. And you know, you said something that's very important. I love the fact that not only you're working with the licensees like Universal, you're working with the estates. You're working with Sarah Karloff and, yep. and the Karloff estate and Bella Lugosi's estate. Yep. It's almost as if, would you say it almost gives you a blessing, uh, the, the toy line, a blessing to, to go on and, and be creative knowing that you've got the families on board as well? Absolutely. Uh, whether we're working with uh, you know the children or grandchildren that, that are curators of the estate, it means a lot because they want to preserve their family's legacy and the job that they're uh, most times the father, you know, the role that they were in, uh, making sure everything's done accurately, making sure they're represented properly, and to have their blessing and have their name and logo on the packaging is just as important as, as Universal Studios. I love it. So, you know, we go from the dark and scary to sort of the fun and comical real quick. I want to touch upon the Munsters because, yes. as you know, it's a classic TV show. Fred Gwynn, we all grew up with as Herman Munster. You've actually got some stuff from the new movie coming out from Rob Zombie. Yes. Tell me about a little bit of this offering you have here. Yeah, so Rob is definitely staying true to the spirit of the fun and uh, yeah. lightheartedness of the show. Yeah. Um, and Rob is a big monster guy as well. So when we started developing this line together last summer, uh, we referenced uh, the Remco line, which I'm sure you're familiar with yeah. from the 60s. And one of the very first pieces we're doing is an homage to a classic 1964 or original Munsters line. Right. Um, even the packaging is painstakingly recreated to look like the Remco yep. uh, version of the retail box. Yep, from the um, 60s. So this is old school packaging, which I really, really love. It is that kickback, it is that homage. This is something you would find in a dark and dusty toy, f you know, a toy show yep. of the 1990s, you know, whether you're in a field somewhere looking yep. at old vintage toys. That's what I love so much about it. The style is so true. Yes. This is the stuff that we keep seeing time and time again, this is Turtles, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle goodness, but you've kind of got this little mashup going on. Tell me more about this stuff. Yeah, so we had been doing Turtles for a number of years and uh, at the same time started doing Universal Monsters. And back in the early 90s, there was a sub-series that Playmates Toys had done yep. with the two mashed up. So you thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if we could do that, but let's put our spin on it. Instead of it being cartoony, let's make it realistic and gritty and detailed. Yeah, it looks and good. And even with the human characters, bring in the actors. So the Br the uh, Bride of Frankenstein is actually the likeness of Judith Hogue, who played April O'Neil in the 1990 Turtle movie. Fantastic. So we've had a lot of fun with these. I mean, they're incredibly detailed, um, tons of accessories incredible illustrated front covers for all of the packaging. Yeah. These beautiful bust portraits that an amazing artist named Daniel Horn has done for us. Um, and now the line is uh, six brand new figures 
on display here. Beautiful. And uh, we are going to debut another one here at the show, exclusively at the booth, I think tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. This looks sort of like the retro stuff that we grew up with. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about this? Yeah, so this has been one of our longest, uh, most successful running lines uh, in the history of NECA, and that is the Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon line based on the Fred Wolf animated series. <coughs> um, we spent about seven hours today. It took that long, but we got every figure in here. Um, this line has exploded in the last few years. We've done street scene dioramas, multi-level dioramas that you can put your figures on. Now we've done the turtle lair. Never done before the rooms from their lair underneath the sewers of New York. We have the living room, the kitchen, and the lab. And we are going to make these available to collectors by the end of this year and throughout next year. Big really? diorama the place big sets. dioramas for turtles. Yes. On the fan room, you're hearing it first, dioramas available for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is something you need to get. I gotta tell you, I can stay here all day, but I know you folks want to get more information. So stay tuned to the fan room. More coverage of San Diego Comic Con. Live coverage coming up. Randy Falk, NECA Toys. Thank you so much. I am so excited about this. This has been a nostalgic trip. You guys are at home. Tune into the fan room. If you're at San Diego Comic Con, go to the NECA booth. Check out the goodies. A lot of good stuff happening. As you can see, people are just hoarding this stuff. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.